morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to my house. Welcome to my story time. It's a welcome, welcome. Great to see you. Hi, my name is Kate, and I'm a children's librarian at the Howe Library, and I'm so glad that you can be here with me today. It's a little bit of a gray day out there today, so it's a great day to be reading some books and singing some songs. So let's get started with our opening song, okay? And if you remember, it goes like this. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, wiggle your nose. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If you'd like to read a book, wiggle your nose. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, wiggle your nose. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If you'd like to read a book, show your class. If you'd like to read a book, show your class. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, show your class. Welcome. Great to see you. Great to see everyone. Um, so today I wanted to ask you, did anybody make the little turtle craft that we talked about last week? We were doing a craft on ponds. I don't know if anybody made a turtle craft, but if you did, great job. And if you didn't, then don't you worry because we're going to be making another craft at the end of the story time today. So you'll get another chance. And um, so today I wanted to do a um, story time about pets. And um, as a lot of you know, I love animals and I love pets especially. And do any of you have pets at home? I bet some of you do. Do you have any pets? Do you have a dog? Or do you have a cat? If you do, you could let me know. You could let me know in the comments section. I have some pets that I wanted to show you a picture of because one of them is, well, he went outside this morning and couldn't catch him. But this is my cat, Jethro. He's laying on the bed. He's kind of looking at me upside down. This is my cat, Jethro. He's pretty cute. And then this is my... Oh, this is my beagle. This is Bluebell. She's an old dog. She belongs to my son, actually. Her name's Bluebell. And she's a beagle, and she's a real sweetie. She's a real sweetie. I love her a lot. Love her a lot. Um, if you have any pets at home, maybe you could let me know. You could write in a, a comment. Um, and um, if you and I, I love pets for lots of reasons they're great companions you know if you have a dog you can take them for lots of walks you can go on many many walks all day lots of walks that's fun to do um, pets kind of teach you responsibility you know you have to feed them you have to brush them you have to take them to the vet and all that stuff and but the best thing about pets is that they love to be hugged I love to hug my pets, and if you have a pet, it would be, I hope that you give them lots of pets, because pets always love hugs. Well, maybe not a goldfish. That would be hard to, to hug a goldfish, but pets in general love to be hugged. Um, if you don't have a pet, have you ever thought about what kind of pet you might like to get? There's lots of other pets out there other than cats and dogs. Do you, if you have a pet, what do you have? What kind of pet do you have if it's not a cat or a dog? Do you have a bird? Some people keep have parrots or minor birds. Or, those are kind of fun. Or a fish. Do you have a goldfish in a, in a, that like, oh, blub, 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 blub. Do you have a fish? Do you have a hamster or a gerbil? Or would you like to get a hamster or a gerbil? Um, what are some other pets? Guinea pigs? Guinea pigs are fun, kind of fun. Um, uh, my niece had, used to have, when she was a lot younger, she used to have a hermit crab. That's a pretty quiet pet to have. And my son, he used to have a gecko. A gecko is a kind of lizard. 
Um, so those, those are all different kinds of pets. If you have any other ideas then, of what pets... Oh, sometimes people have snakes. That's crazy. Or iguanas. If any of you have a snake or iguana, I would love to know. I would love to know. That would be great. Well, today I have a special little pet to show you. And I might as well show her to you right now. This is... This is a kit, my daughter's kitten. This is my daughter's kitten. And isn't she cute? She's only eight weeks old. My got, daughter got her just a couple weeks ago. And I borrowed her for today so that I could show her to you guys. Because kittens are really special. So I get to keep her for the night and take care of her. So she's a real sweetie. Look at that. Pretty lucky if you get to have a kitten. And look at her little tummy. She's got all these stripes all over her. And one of the best parts I like about her is look at her paws. The bottoms of her paws are black. All the bottoms of her paws are black. Pretty cute. So anyway, this is, and believe it or not, she doesn't have a name yet. My daughter still hasn't ma named her yet. So if anybody has a great idea for a name for this little kitten, Send it on in. I think she looks like a little tiger. What do you think? Look at those stripes. But if you have a name for her, maybe you could let me know because my daughter still hasn't named her. So kittens are great pets, except they're a lot of work. If your family decides to get a kitten, just know that they're a lot of work. You have to feed them. You have to, you have to take them to the vet for all their shots. You have to clean their litter box. You have to play with them. You have to play with them a lot. And you have to make sure that they have a nice place to sleep that's safe and cuddly and warm. So getting a kitten is a lot of fun, but it's also a lot of work. But as you can see, this little kitten, I think, is getting tired now. Probably going to go to sleep. So I'll put her down. Maybe she'll come back and visit us later. But I'm so glad that you got to, got to meet my daughter's kitten. Um, the first book I'm going to read, um, for those of you that don't have a pet and are thinking about what you'd like to get, this book is called What Pet to Get. And it's by Emma Dodd. And I love this book. It's got great illustrations. And it's about this little boy Who's thinking about what kind of pet would he like to get? And I'm not sure he's thinking about dogs and guinea pigs and things, are you? Look at what's on the cover. Hmm. So let's cut, let's look and see what pets he's thinking about getting. What pet to get? And there he's thinking. Hmm. There he is thinking. See those thought bubbles right there? That means he's thinking, what pet to get? Let's get a pet, said Jack one day. I promise I'll look after it. If you like, dear, replied his mother absentmindedly. What pet should we get? Jack thought about it for a little while. Well, I think we should get an elephant, he announced. I could ride it to school. Hmm, an elephant would be nice, dear, said Mom, but not very practical. How would we take it on vacation? Ha! Ah, look at that. What? What's the elephant doing? On the roof rack, of course, said Jack. I don't think so, said Mom. It might squash the car. Hmm, maybe not an elephant then, replied Jack. Whoa. What about a lion, he said. I'd remember to feed it every day. That would be super dear, replied Mom. But lions do have big appetites. And look who's coming to their house. Can you see? It. Ah! And anyway, it might frighten away the mail carrier. Hmm. I hadn't thought of that, said Jack. Look at that lion. He's got letters in his mouth. That's not going to do. Jack thought some more. I think we should get a polar bear, he said. It would make a great playmate. 
Hmm, a polar bear would be lovely, dear, replied his mother. But I don't think it would like the heating. Look at that poor polar bear. He's sitting by the heat and he's getting all hot and look at the sweat. Hmm, I suppose not, agreed Jack. Jack thought some more. What pet to get? Could we get a Tyrannosaurus Rex? He asked. I could take it for walks. That would be fun. Hmm, that would have been a good idea, said his mother. But unfortunately, the Tyrannosaurus Rex has been extinct for 65 million years. And if you don't know what extinct means, that means it's not alive anymore. They don't, they're gone. They're not, any of them are left. None of them are here anymore. What a shame, said Jack. Well, what about a giraffe? Too tall. What about a rhino? Too wide. Look at him. He, he's trying to go through the door and he busted right through the whole wall. I wouldn't make a good pet, would it? What about a bison? Ugh, too smelly. Huh, yeah. What about a crocodile? I could brush its teeth. Eh, too snappy. Well, I suppose a shark is out of the question. Yes, dear, sighed Mom. Perhaps you could try to think of something less exotic. Exotic means rare. Try to think of something less exotic. Well, early the next morning, Jack announced, I've got it! I've got it! Let's get a dog! That, said his mom, is an excellent idea. We'll go right this morning and choose a... A lovely little puppy? <laughs> Looks like they went down to the shelter and they got a lovely little puppy? Not really, but that's what Jack picked out. And you can see on his dog tag over here, he named it Fang. <laughs> the end. And there is Jack walking his lovely little puppy fang the end so i love that book it's fun to think about what pet to get but hopefully not any of these in here not any of these so that's one of my more fa my favorite books so speaking of dogs there's i'm gonna take this off and does anybody know what that spells Let's see, these letters, B-I-N-G-O, they spell bingo, <laughs> bingo, B-I-N-G-O. And so we're going to do a song, and it's a clapping and woofing song all about this dog and his name, Bingo, and I'm going to be taking the letters away, so just follow, you'll get the idea, okay? Get your hands ready and your woofs ready, and it goes like this. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, so now we're going to take off the B. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, woof, I-N-G-O, woof, I-N-G-O, woof. I-N-G-O and bingo was his name O. Oh, great, got it? Now we're going to take away the I. Okay, get ready. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name O. Oh, woof, woof, N-G-O, woof, woof, N-G-O, woof, woof, N-G-O and bingo was his name O. Oh. <laughs> so are you getting it? It's kind of fun. Now we're going to take away the N. One more N. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, woof, 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 G-O. Woof, 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 G-O. Woof, 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 G-O. And bingo was his name. Oh, 
Take away the G. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, woof 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 woof. Oh, woof 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 woof. Oh, woof 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 woof. Oh, and Bingo was his name. Oh, ah, they're all gone. Do you remember? Can we remember how to do it? There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, woof woof. Woof 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 and bingo was his name. Oh yay! <laughs> Good singing. Good singing. That's a fun that's a fun song. That's a fun song. So the next book that I'm gonna read is about a cat. And this is a really funny book as well. It's called Drat That Fat Cat. Those words all rhyme. You see you see that? Drat that Fat and cat, they all rhyme. So that's kind of fun. And it's by Pat Thompson, illustrated by Ali Busby. And this is about a cat who just loves to eat things. Kind of like my dog, Bluebell. I didn't tell you that, but that dog, my dog, Bluebell, eats anything and everything all day long. She eats celery and carrots. And, and one day she jumped up on the table and ate half of a birthday cake. And she eats just anything and this is about a cat that kind of like similar eats a lot and let's see what happens drat that fat cat once there was a cat a fat 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 cat but was that cat fat enough no he was not so he padded along the path in search of food. And so when you see these words in bold letters, you can say them with me, okay? And they're bold, which means you say them loud. No, he was not. We're gonna, it's gonna be on almost every page, okay? Maybe every other page. The fat cat met a rat. Have you any food, rat, deep in your hole? No, I have not, said the rat. Too bad then, I must eat you up. Eat me up? You're fat enough already, said the rat. But was that cat fat enough? No, he was not. So he gobbled up the rat and padded along the path in search of food with the rat squeak, squeak, squeaking right inside him. The rat's right inside his tummy. The fat cat met a duck. Have you any food, duck, to nibble in your nest? No, I have not, said the duck. Too bad, then. I must eat you up. Eat me up? You're fat enough already. But was that cat fat enough? No, he was not. So he gobbled up the duck and padded along the path of Sir in search of more food with a duck quack quack quacking inside of him and the rat squeak squeak squeaking. The fat cat met a dog. Have you any food dog in, hidden in your house? No I have not said the dog. Too bad then I must eat you up said the cat. Eat me up you are fat enough already. Look at the cat now. Oh my gosh, look at that. But was that cat fat enough? Ready? No, he was not. So he gobbled up the dog and padded along the path in search of food. With the dog woof woofing and the duck quack quacking and the rat squeak squeaking right inside him. Yikes. The fat cat met an old lady. Have you any food, old lady, in the bottom of your basket? No, I have not, said the old lady. Too bad, said the cat, that I must eat you up. Eat me up, said the old lady. You're fat enough already. He is pretty fat, isn't he? But was that cat fat enough? No, he was not. So he gobbled up the old lady and padded along the path in search of food with the old lady saying, Drat that fat cat. 
and the dog woof woofing and the duck quack quacking and the rat squeak squeaking. She, she gobbled that lady right up. Can you believe it? Oh, not really. Then a bee buzzed around the fat cat's head and without a thought, he swallowed it up whole. Take a good look at that. See that bee? Do you think that was a good idea to swallow a bee? Let's find out. Look at that. Where do you think they are? Where are they? Right, they're all in the cat's tummy. Well, the bee buzzed around inside the fat cat where he found a rat squeak squeaking and a duck quack quacking and a dog woof woofing and an old lady saying, Drat that fat cat! This is an outrage! Buzzed the bee. There isn't room in here for us all! The cat had forgotten that bees, what do bees do? They sting! And, ow! cried the fat cat. Meow! Ow, ow, ow! What's happening in this picture? There's the cat's mouth. Well, hick went the cat and out popped the bee. And hick went the cat and out popped the rat. <laughs> Hick went the cat and out popped the duck. Hick went the cat and out popped the dog. Hick went the cat and out popped the old lady. Can you believe it? They all came flying out of his tummy. Well, dear me, said the old lady, you must be very hungry. Come with me and I'll fatten you up. Well, he's not quite as fat anymore, is he? The cat padded along the path behind her in search of food, hick, hick, hicking all the way home. So was the cat now fat enough? What do you think? Is he fat enough? We know those words, don't we? No, he was not. And look at him. He's got his bib on and he's ready to eat some more. The end. Drat that fat cat. That's a funny book for sure. That's a funny book. Um, so let's see. The next thing I want to do is have my little flannel board right like that. This, this week I've got a nice holder so it doesn't wobble in my hands. And it's a little hard to see because of the shine, but this is about kittens, five little kittens. And does anybody, does that look like a tree? I made it and hoping that it looks like a tree. So this is a little rhyme, a little flannel rhyme about five little kittens. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so it goes like this. Five little kitty cats up in a tree. One fell off. Bam. And bumped his knee. Mama cat came and said, listen to me. No more climbing in that tree. Four little kitty cats climbing in a tree. One fell off. Meow, bonk. And bumped its knee. Mama cat came and said, listen to me. No more climbing in that tree. So how many are left? One, two, three little kitty cats climbing in the tree. One fell off. Oh no! Bonk! And bumped its knee. Mama Cat came and said, Listen to me. No more climbing in that tree. How many kitty cats now? One, two. Two little kitty cats climbing in a tree. One fell off. Oh no! 
bonk. And bumped its knee. Mama Cat came and said, Listen to me. No more climbing in that tree. How many kitty cats left? One little kitty cat climbing in the tree. He fell off. Bonk. Bumped his knee. Mama Cat came and said, Listen to me. No more climbing in that tree. Now, how many are left in the tree? None. Zero. Hmm, hard to see. Anyway, zero. No more kitty cats in that tree. No more kitty cats bumping their knee. They're all on the ground, as you can see. The happiest little kitty cats you ever did see. Yay! Yay, Mama! Yay! Now they're all happy. So, great! Let's see. Ooh, it's getting on towards the... Oh, one more thing I want to do. Another, another little cat rhyme. So, cats, you can go like this. These are whiskers. This is called Big Gray Pussy Cat. So, take your fingers. And we're going to pretend we're going to make like whiskers. Big Gray Pussy Cat. Pussy Cat. Pussy cat, big gray pussy cat lived in a house. Big gray pussy cat, pussy cat, pussy cat, big gray pussy cat pounced on a mouse. Yay, good job, good job. Okay, let's see what's next. Um, oh, a craft before we end. I want to show you a fun craft origami. Do any of you ever do origami? It's the Japanese art of paper folding. And I want to show you how to do it. an origami cat. It's really easy. It's one of the easiest ones of all. If you don't remember when we're done, you can Google it, origami cat, and it's just simple. Okay? So you start with a square. Oh, boy, it's hard to get this right. Okay, a square, not a rectangle. It's got to be a square. And you're going to fold it so the two corners come together, okay, to make a rectangle. I mean, not a rectangle, sorry, a triangle. So from square, kind of like a diamond, to a triangle. And then you're going to take each point right here, each point, you're going to fold them up like so. Pretty easy, pretty easy. So you're going to fold them up like so and see how they make little ears? And then you're going to take the top. This is his head. You're going to take the top and fold it down like that. Turn it around. And there is the shape of our kitty cat. And then you take a marker and you draw on it. And you have a little kitty cat. See? I drew the eyes. I drew the nose, the little mouth and the whiskers. So it's such a fun and easy craft to make. It's origami. Google it. It's real, real easy, really easy to do. So, um, oh yes, I want to do a big shout out. Thank you to the publishers of the two books that I read today, um, Arthur A. Levine and Scholastic. Thank you so much for letting us read these books online like this. I really appreciate it. Um, and Let's do our closing song, okay? I'm looking for my kitty. She's right over there. Kitty, 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 kitty. Wow, she's fast asleep. I'll see if I can get her. But meantime, let's do our closing song all together, okay? And it goes like this. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss. Jellyfish, see you soon. Big baboon, out the door. Dinosaur, take care. Polar bear, wave goodbye. Butterfly. Push, 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 push. We're almost done, but if you just, just give me a sec. I'm going to go grab the kitten and... There she is. She was curled up in a little pile of stuffed animals over there. So 
Goodbye. Great to see you guys today. Thank you so much for coming to our story time. Goodbye, little kitten. And don't forget to always hug your pets. Love them and kiss them. Give them all your love. They deserve it, whether it's a cat or a goldfish or whatever. Bye-bye, okay. everybody.